If you're thinking about enrolling in a special master's program, but you're unsure what you need to apply, or even if it's a good idea, then this video is for you. I'm going to explain what you need to apply and discuss the pros and cons to help you decide. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans, an admissions associate at BMO Academic Consulting. Make sure you subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you'd like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link either above or below this video. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections of the video that you're interested in. Firstly, what are special master's programs? Special Master's Programs, SMPs, are the graduate category of post-bachelorate programs that aim to increase students' chances of getting admitted to professional schools, including medical school. SMPs also expose students to experiences necessary for their medical school applications. Not only do these programs allow students to increase their knowledge of a field by taking relevant graduate and professional level courses, but they can really help bolster other professional school application requirements, such as GPA, research, and clinical experience. Generally, these master's degrees take two years to complete. One year is dedicated to coursework and one year to research and thesis writing. Coursework-based programs take about a year to complete. Typically, all special master's programs, as well as post-bachelorate programs, have the following designations. Academic enhancers, AEs, are intended for pre-med students who wish to bolster their medical school applications. These types of programs may help raise your GPA by taking relevant science-based courses, increasing your exposure to clinical practice, and gaining valuable research experience. Keep in mind that S&P courses may or may not be factored into your undergraduate GPA. Then there are career changers, CCs, and these are for students who did not earn a degree in science in college but now want to enter the medical profession. Students in CC programs take necessary prerequisites for medical school admissions. Then there are educationally or economically disadvantaged EED programs, and they offer students preparation to become competitive applicants for professional schools. The goal of these programs is to increase diversity in the medical field and increase opportunities for disadvantaged students. So what do you need to apply? Just like with most graduate programs, there is no unified special master's program application system. You will need to apply for each program electronically via the application procedure set up by the school of your choice. SMP requirements and medical school prerequisites are similar. You're recommended to have a background in the following disciplines, biology, chemistry, which includes general chemistry, organic chemistry, and it could also include biochemistry, physics, math, social or behavioral sciences, and English. Now, you'll need to provide transcripts from all the schools you attended, one transcript from each school. Just like medical school applicants, SMP candidates are required to submit a CV which outlines your career goals, work and volunteer experiences, awards, honors, publications, and any other noteworthy qualifications. Your application must also include a personal statement, which isn't unlike your medical school personal statement. You must also demonstrate to the committee how this particular SMP program will help you achieve your goals. Explain why you're choosing a particular master's program instead of another. A personal statement should also outline your qualities and experiences that make you a successful candidate for an SMP and your future career plans. You'll also need recommendation letters. Typically, SMPs ask for three letters of reference and most programs will request for your letters to be submitted electronically by your reference writers. Your recommendation letters from SMP should come from professors and professionals who can evaluate and describe your performances in coursework, clinical experience, and research. Now, I wanna quickly address the pros and cons of special master's programs. Let's go over the benefits first. Affiliation with medical schools. So some special master's programs are affiliated with a specific medical school. Some programs guarantee conditional acceptance to a medical school if you meet all requirements upon completion of the SMP. This is certainly worth considering as it would allow you to avoid any more medical school applications. However, it's important to do your research thoroughly to determine if the affiliated medical school is one that you actually want to attend. Next, gain research experience. So SMPs are a great opportunity to gain much needed research experience. This is especially true if the program that you choose is thesis-based. In this case, your research needs are already built into the curriculum. The next benefit is built-in volunteer opportunities. Some programs incorporate community service into their curriculum or allot time slots so their students can pursue volunteer opportunities on their own. Some institutions designate volunteer days for their students, and this exposes potential medical school students to work and volunteering opportunities outside of the school's curriculum. Next, there are networking opportunities. 
Because of their affiliation with medical schools, many special master's programs can connect you with prominent professors and faculty members. This exposure allows you to learn more about your chosen career path and different specialties within the medical field. Next is obviously the flexibility. So many master's programs have much more flexible schedules than undergraduate degrees or medical school curriculums. If you're looking to bolster your medical school application, but you have a full-time or a part-time job, then master's programs usually accommodate their students accordingly. Another benefit of SMPs is that they can increase your GPA. If you're looking to improve your GPA without retaking undergraduate courses, this might be the right choice for you. Remember that AMCAS calculates your undergraduate and graduate GPA separately though. So if you choose not to improve your undergraduate GPA, the SMP can be a second chance to prove your academic prowess to admissions committees. Another advantage is that SMPs can give you extra time to prepare for the MCAT if you haven't taken it or if you're looking to improve your score. These programs will give you more time to study and prepare to take the test, and some programs might even offer MCAT prep courses. Okay, so now let's go over a couple disadvantages of SMPs. The first one is the cost. The journey of medical school education is expensive whether or not you enroll in an SMP, but master's programs can add to the amount of debt. Typically, you would try to enter medical school right after completing an SMP, so it's just something to consider that you might be carrying more costs into medical school and into residency. The next disadvantage is actually GPA, which was also potentially an advantage. In most cases, successful completion of an SMP will not improve your undergraduate GPA. Medical school application systems like AMCAS separate your undergraduate GPA from your graduate GPA. This does not mean that admissions committees will not be impressed with your SMP achievements, but they will also be able to see your unimpressive undergraduate GPA. So just make sure that you keep that in mind. And the next con is the high pressure to succeed. So obviously students are deciding to enroll in these programs to increase their chances of getting admitted to medical school. If you completed the master's program, admissions committees weigh your degree performance heavily. If you didn't perform well, the SMP degree can actually hurt your chances for medical school admission. Just keep in mind that simply completing the degree will not give you any competitive edge. Okay, so that'll wrap up another one of our videos. So please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions that I didn't cover in today's video. Are you toying with the idea of enrolling in a special master's program? What factors are you using to decide? Let me know in the comment section. Lastly, if you'd like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.